this is the things that scare me. Now, if you're a Hunter Hunter fan, then you probably know the pain of being a Hunter Hunter fan. <laughs> and that's hiatuses, hiatuses. You think your series is back, and bam, uh, Tagashi's back comes back. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So it's been one hell of a ride being a Hunter Hunter fan. For better or worse, you know what you're getting into if you hear some of the stories that come along with getting into Hunter Hunter with the inconsistency of the manga creator because of his health issues where he can't deliver. Recently, though, some translators found a little bit of information that kind of got me scared. In regards to Yoshihiro Tagashi, the creator of Hunter Hunter, the writer, the author, all that good shit, artist, he talked a little bit about something that honestly it, it got me a little frightened. Now, there's a lot of jokes that people have, right, in regards to the fact that who knows what's gonna end first? One piece of Hunter Hunter with all of Tagashi's hiatuses, we may never see the end of Hunter Hunter. With One Piece, yeah, uh, we get a hiatus one, one every three chapters, once every four chapters, something like that. But for the most part, it, it's going long too because a lot of people always hear Oda saying, or his editor, shall I say, saying, yeah, it's only 50, 60, 70% done or whatever. So we always imagine that it's gonna be a long time, but potentially even One Piece can finish before Hunter Hunter. Now, something Tagashi said, in terms of, again, the, the scary thing I've been saying is the fact that he pretty much in a nutshell said he's worried that he might not be around to finish Hunter Hunter. That's a little bit like, whoa, let's read a little bit of what was allegedly said and we'll talk some more. According to translators, a few fans were able to visit Tagashi at the weekly Shonen Jump exhibition. After asking about Hunter x Hunter, the artist admitted many of his fans think its prolonged publication is concerning giving its hiatuses. Tagashi admitted he's afraid he will not see the end of Hunter x Hunter himself and he quote unquote wants to try and solve this problem. Wow. Now, I believe there's a little bit more to the article, but honestly, I want to stop right there and just mainly comment on that. That is very scary because Tagashi takes so many hiatuses. Obviously, it takes a long time to get from point A to point B in an arc. I mean, we've been for years now in this whole, oh, we're going to the Dark Continent, you know, uh, Karapika getting ready for everything. So we've had this for a while, the princes and everything, the setups beyond that, that all, a lot of different things have been building up. And it's like, wow, you know what I'm saying? That's a scary thought because if Tagashi, you know, I hate to say this, but if something happens to Tagashi, whether it be next week, next month, a year from now, we could end up, well, not only because fuck the series. At the end of the day, one, we would lose an incredibly talented man, the man himself, who's given a shit ton of his life to this medium we love, Yu Yu Hakusho, Hunter Hunter, he's put in his time, so on top of that, that would be tragic in and of itself, but then also for long time readers of Hunter Hunter, we would be out in the cold, and the way he's saying it, is almost as if potentially maybe he has the story already finished, it's just kind of inching towards that, but that means that he also has a lot of work to get done, and honestly, it's very concerning, I really, really wish, and it's things like this that I really wish Tagashi would put the pride away, and really say, I need help, let's get this done. Or hell, even one of the things that a lot of people said before the anime finished its run. Tagashi, why don't you pull like, look what Toriyama's doing right now. It works very well. Work on the show as a script writer. Bam, all you have to do is like, from what I understand from Toriyama, obviously it's a little more detailed, but you make a draft, whether it's 10 pages or whatever, you put this happens point A, this happens point B. The problem with Tagashi is that he's such a detailed writer, it's very different from Toriyama. Akira Toriyama and Dragon Ball itself has a very simplistic writing style. You could argue later on in the series it gets a little bit more complex and a little bit more, you know, dare I even say it to a certain degree, sometimes convoluted with all the transformations and stuff like that. But for the most part, especially OG Dragon Ball, very simple story, the hunt for the Dragon Balls. With Hunter x Hunter, it is like it starts off simple. It's like, yeah, Gon wants to find his father and become a hunter. By the end of it, we're killing these man-killing, eating ants and all sorts of crazy shit. We got this crazy psycho, Hisoka killing like... It, it's insane, and it would be a real shame, as much as I love and adore Hunter Hunter, for it to never get a proper ending. That would really, really suck. So definitely things like this is worrisome. Every time I hear some of these updates from Yoshihiro Tagashi and his health and stuff like that, it once again gets very alarming. I really hope somebody in Shueisha tells him, bro, you can stop now. 
you can just write and we'll get another artist. Or if you want to just put the manga to close, maybe we can get somebody to do a manga adaptation of you working. Something needs to be done. The man has, you know, every time he comes back, it's always really worrisome. You hear his comments in the author comments. A lot of it is very negative. Man, I couldn't get out of bed today. Man, my back hurts. Like, somebody needs to help this guy. Somebody really needs to step in and say, bro, do it this way. Make things easier because... That would really suck if this man passed before he gets to finish his life's work. Kind of curious what you guys think about this. How do you feel hearing Yoshiro Tagashi himself is saying, there's a possibility I might not even be around to finish Hunt the Hunter. W what would happen at that point as well? Like, would Hunt the Hunter just be completely never finished? Would they get an author or another artist and author to come in and finish the work for Tagashi? Like, a lot of different questions kind of get raised with all of this i'm really curious what you guys think though again what do you think about tagashi's kind of you know worrisome lines him talking about he might not be around for the end of this year is like bro what is your take on this what do you think with everything that in case you don't know i'll have the video link in the description below all the problems the mental problems the physical problems that yoshihiro tagashi has what do you think possibly could be the solution to all this getting him to work on the show exclusively getting another artist like how can we solve this problem because that's really worrisome when the man's saying that he he feels like he could die before i don't want nothing like that to happen and i wish him nothing but the best hunt the hunter amazing yu yu haka show one of my all-time favorite stories ever tagashi don't deserve to go out like that so definitely really worrisome and i wanted to bring this to people's attention hopefully tagashi gets once again the rest he needs and really a lot of that i think too though comes from his depression and his anxiety from what i hear with tagashi he sounds like he exhibits all of that and possibly that's coming from there too him feeling like doubts like man with all the breaks i'm taking maybe i won't be able to finish it because that also means that which you could argue it's a good thing that tagashi is not despite his health issues and despite his release schedule he is not compromising on which way he wants to go with this story he's not saying you know what because my help is doing x y and z i'm gonna cut out this arc i'm gonna cut out that arc i'm gonna cut that out he's like no i'm doing the story exactly how i envision it exactly how i want it just hopefully nothing happens to him in the process of getting to that point he's a legend right there and he he's put in his work you could argue about the hiatuses and shit like that but if your health was in massive decline and you knew like yo it's either i take breaks or i'm gonna die you do the same thing and i would never want an author to die for our entertainment hells no and your real thoughts of this again honestly uh where i'm at with hunter hunter because a lot of people are like yo bro where's those reviews at i'm pretty behind i want to say i'm one hiatus or one and a half hiatuses behind at this point with what's going on with the manga i know i read the stuff that happened with hisoka and the phantom troop i want to say since that point i either came back and read a little bit but i'm still pretty far behind so that's why i haven't done any reviews on the latest chapters i'm really hoping that at one given point again with things like this coming up we can have Hunter Hunter coming out on a seasonal base. Like, again, if it's working with Dragon Ball Super, you know, regardless of what people say about the story, it's massively popular. You have a genius like Tagashi working. Maybe he can just, okay, we have these, what, 20, 30 chapters since the anime has ended that we have of manga exclusive content right now. Take that, finish that up, do a 12 episode anime on that. Then bring Tagashi on the TV staff and have him slowly chilling out, writing scripts and handing them in for like, you know, a good 12 episodes. That would be insane. Again, your overall thoughts and uh, I, I know I've asked that quite a bit, but honestly, hearing this shit always rocks me. It's like, bro, this is this guy has made some things that I love and adore and have changed my life. I don't want him to go out like this, like save Tagashi, <laughs> you know, just save Tagashi. Again, that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and do a little stalking on my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm Fun of World, and as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule, anime and manga for life, boy. Bow. Have an awesome day. Seriously, Tagashi, get just chill relax don't you know what i'm saying stress yourself we don't want you to go away you've done great things and you got nothing but my respect bro have an awesome day that's how it be though nothing but great ever just to get a c though eyes watching but we never seem to be though even when stakes are high we never seem to meet yo it's always please yo never satisfied though what the fuck i gotta do to get by though no matter how much i seem to fucking try though at times i really want a motherfucker